Okay. Call from the question, all those in favor? We have a motion yet. I'll, I'll make a motion to accept okay. December. December. Um, please call it. Uh, Warren, thank you. Second. <laughs> okay. Yes, Mr. Miller, focus first, please. Yes, Chairman O'Brien. On the student activity warrants, last page, last warrant, balcony view postage. Are you passing that warrant tonight? No, that's what it's been written. Are, are you not passing this warrant tonight as a board? Yes, not. So when did this warrant pass? Yeah, Mr. Crystal, activity warrants are not something to come before the board for the people they are paid. Madam Chair, can you check into the Montana codes about expenditures that the board is not approving? Expenditures beyond funds? I'm talking to the chairperson. Um, when you talk to the board, you, you, we can certainly have Ms. AD offer his expertise on that particular subject. Okay. So, Chairperson Cornish, can I address you on this? Yeah. Can you look into the Montana Code about expenditures not passed by board members? At this point, Mr. O'Brien, I don't think that's necessary. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thank you. It is correct. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No, we have a no, second. Okay. Call for the question. All those in favor? Aye. Uh, okay. Do you need to do the, no, we do not need to do the, yeah. the Northwest Energy Building to provide space for the okay. process and the All right. So we set our next meeting date, which will be uh, Tuesday, January 10th. 2012. Does that work for everybody? Good morning. Hold on one second. Please sit down. It's okay? Yep. Okay. Alright, then it's set for January 10th, 2012. Alright, the next item on our agenda is public comment. Um, those in the audience we need to remind you that public comment is for your ability to address the board about an item or an issue that is not of a personal nature or an item that's on the agenda. Recognize that because it is not an item on the agenda that the board cannot respond to that particular issue, whatever it might be. And if in fact you have something to present to the board, if you come to the podium and state your name, we would appreciate that. Mr. Bryan? Uh, the nature of this letter that I received from the district I'm wondering if I shouldn't ask for uh, executive session in order to follow the rules that you set forth. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if I can do that in public comment or not. Uh, can I? No. Okay. Received a letter from the district office. Can I read it? It has a couple names on it. I mean, it's public information, right? Can you read it? Uh, Okay, thanks, Vicki. John, I don't need your approval to read the meeting. It's, it's a board meeting. I know, but remember what I said before, that we as a board... Right. Because when you, you also talked about things of personal nature that, you know, I want to make sure it's done right. Okay. Let's give your letter. Uh, Mr. O'Brien, I've spoken with Mrs. Cornish regarding your request dated November 28th. We determined that these issues regarding the student activity account have been covered in past meetings or, I'm sorry, in past audits and discussed in previous board meetings. 
Is there a suggestion to have an action item with regard to an independent audit performed of the student activity account as an inclusion to our December 6th school board meeting? Is denied. Thank you for your time and concern. Uh, I requested an agenda item, and this letter is telling me that one board member saw this. And I, I know you can respond in public comment, but you're saying you don't have to. I requested that we have an independent audit, and this letter tells me the superintendent and the chair denied it. There's four other board members here that represent the taxpayers. You guys should all see that. You should all determine whether or not this is a valid item to go on an agenda. So I caution you on the way the business is conducted. Any others I would like to? Yes. <coughs> Madam Chair and members of the school board, for the record, my name is Kristen Nye, and I have two students in in the school. And I just wanted to um, remind <coughs> all of you that we do have a holiday bazaar this weekend. It's a fundraiser for the elementary. Um, parent group and then the food that's going to be sold there will be a fundraiser for the um, middle school parent group and we would love to see you all there and um, help us raise more money for some of the activities we're hoping to do later this year. May I also have another comment? Um, with regard to um, the letter that was just written I just would like to be on the record that I have been following this issue for quite some time now, and I thank you for making that decision. Um, it's really tough um, <laughs> when there are disagreements with how business is conducted, but um, I think it's really important to be responsible with taxpayers' money, and if we covered an issue and covered an issue, it's really important to move on and do this important business for our school. And I thank you for making that decision. All right. Can I respond to that? You only get one kind of public comment. On one issue? On, that, on, on whatever it is that you wanted to come for. All right, course